Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and welcome back to the third episode in my course play tutorial series. In the last episode in this series, we covered the basics of how to use the course play user interface. In this episode, I'm going to show you the basics of recording and working with your first course. So to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is bring up the course play HUD. And then on the course play control tab here, you're going to want to click start course recording. And as you can see, we've got this orange pyramid and a blue sign with a white arrow on it. That is our starting point. We'll go ahead and start up the tractor and then we'll start driving. And you'll get one waypoint, two waypoints. And then once you get that second one, you can kind of start driving and doing some more complicated stuff. So we'll just kind of drive this course here. Nothing too special. And what I'm going to do is I want to come all the way back around here. And then I want to finish kind of facing our starting point. And we'll just stop a few meters away. Right here looks pretty good. So we'll click the stop recording. And as you can see, we have a stop sign over our head. Now, a lot of the waypoints went away, and we just have the, these couple here at the start and the stop. And if you remember from the last video, back here on the settings, we actually have an option here to turn on and show all waypoints. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on just so that we can see all of them. Uh, when you're actually using this in game, if you find the waypoints annoying, obviously you can you can turn them all off too. Alright, so that's start and stop, and that's all, showing all the ones in the middle. So now that we've got this course recorded, we can actually play it back. So we want to go into transfer mode, and then we can say drive course, but we have the start course at option here. We can start at the nearest waypoint, or the first waypoint, or the current waypoint. So down here you'll notice there's a few little icons with numbers. This is your waypoint counter. So right now we're on waypoint 1 of 47 because we haven't actually started doing anything yet. So on a course like this what you would normally want to do is say first waypoint and then drive course. And it will drive to that first point there and then it will begin to drive the course. And as you can see when we go underneath the waypoints this number here will change. So we got a 4 and then this one's five, six, seven, eight. And the tractor will drive the course going from point to point. And then when it gets to the end here, it's gonna slow down a little bit, but then it's gonna actually just keep going and it's gonna start the course over again. And this is kind of the default behavior of course play. And as you can see, once we started the course, our option here actually changed from start at to stop at, last point or next trigger, and it's currently deactivated. So we can activate this, and now when it comes around and gets to the stop sign, it will actually come to a stop. Alright, so there you go. And when the tractor comes to a stop, uh, two, two things are going to happen here. You'll get this icon over here, the T5 has reached trigger or end point. This will happen, you'll see this no matter where you are on the map, right? You could be off doing something else, and when that tractor reaches that end point, this is going to pop up over there. And one of the handy things about that is it pops up not only when something has finished, but also if something has a problem. So if one of the pieces of equipment is has run out of fuel or run out of seed or has run into a tree and is currently blocked and can't drive, those little notifications will pop up there on the left-hand side. And all you have to do is click on it and you'll hop right into that tractor. The other thing you'll notice here is that we now have this continue button that showed up. So if you press continue, the vehicle will keep driving and it'll do the lap, the course again. And of course this is deactivated, so if we activate it, it'll stop at the last point. 
Now, another thing we can do here, and let's wait until we get to the corner, but I can say stop driver. And as you can see, the driver stopped following the course and kind of just coasted to a stop over here. But if you look at our course play HUD next to the waypoints over here, you can see that we're still set to 0.15 of 47. So before, when I was talking about the starting at the first waypoint, we also have the option of starting at a current waypoint. So we could come, we could be all the way over here, right? I could be way over here at this part of the course, and I can say drive course at current waypoint, and it's actually going to drive over there to that curve where we left off because that's waypoint 15, right? And now it's, you can see the numbers counting up again. So the next thing I can do is I can stop the driver again. And you see, we'll just kind of coast off like that. And we're currently on waypoint 30 of 47. So the other option we have is I can kind of come back over here under the course where I sort of want to be, and then I can tell it nearest waypoint and drive course. Now watch what happens to this 30. It's going to jump right to 37, and it's going to take off at that point in the course. So again, if we stop the driver, one more thing I want to show you about the first waypoint is when I started, I was lined up pretty well to the first waypoint, right? But I can also be like all the way over here and tell it to drive course at the first waypoint. And the tractor will actually drive, not, it does it slowly, <laughs> but the tractor will actually drive all the way over there to the first waypoint and then start the course. That can be good, but it can also be a bit of an issue because we're actually going to come at this at a right angle, which means that the in this particular case, the tractor may have a hard time actually intercepting and going to the next waypoint. And sometimes what happens in those cases, see there it did it okay. It's probably because it's a small tractor with a good turning radius, but uh, sometimes what will happen is if you're not pointed nice and straight at the first waypoint, the tractor will start driving in circles and you'll have to start it and back it up, get it pointed at the first waypoint and then tell it to start at first waypoint again. So there you have it. That is the basics of recording and using courses in course play. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? That helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more farming simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.